My name is Adam Zopio and I'm currently the DevOps engineer as well as trainer at Gebea. Uh, I have six years of uh, over six years of professional software development, and that has seen me, you know, take part in mobile application development. That's on the Android platform. That has also seen me be part of, you know, um, coming up with different API architectures for the different systems that we do. And I've also been lucky to be involved in different projects that have actually spun across, you know, a multinational level. I've also taken part in. Uh, I mean, I was in charge of a team that actually came, did a project for the government in Kenya. And uh, over and above that, uh, in 2013, I co-founded a company called Baimo, uh, which um, I've been the tech lead and also CTO, uh, overseeing that role through and through. DevOps generally is a liaise between the, the whole point of having a DevOps engineer or rather the DevOps cultures that you're trying to ensure that from the time um, the developers you know come up with a product and the time they deploy so sort of like you're trying to match the, the development team and, and the operations team in a way that you're streamlining or rather automating that process from the time you know a product is actually worked on and by the time it's deployed um, to the end users. And so what the DevOps role brings in place is that it, entail, it sort of like enforces a culture of collaboration and also trying to automate the way, you know, software is delivered at the end of the day. And that will see you, you know, move from delivering software changes from a month to maybe 10 times a day or even 10 times an hour because you already have a mechanized way or rather an automated way of ensuring that your changes, that you work on a particular change today or rather in this hour, in this minute, and then it be able to reach to you know, your end users at the end of the day. So as a DevOps, I've been thrilled and I've been privileged to actually, you know, uh, from the architect to actually provisioning, from the staging to actually production. There's a one big project that we have been, you know, uh, that Codas for Africa took on. Uh, for a client in Kenya, which is a micro a micro loans lending service, and that's called Chapeo. And Chapeo has seen us, you know, sort of like come up with a new way of delivering application in the sense that we decided to implement it from the ground up using microservices, which allow you to break down a monolithic application into different components. And so that was very interesting. There's another project called uh, Misika, which is for a client in Ghana, and that is still in in, uh, in development as we speak, but also will follow as well the same lead. So in order to become a DevOps engineer, uh, generally there's no there's no thin line between in terms of um, as any other you know uh, as any other IT field of interest that you know you might be interested in. I guess uh, primarily, of course, you you really need to have a, a better understanding of some basic understanding of how you know different computer networks actually you know they are structured. You need to have some basic background on, you know, the Linux command line or rather how to generally, you know, move your way around, you know, um, accessing a server and being able to do basic configurations. But then, of course, as you progress on, or of course, you learn some tools that actually help to make your work easier. You don't necessarily have to know how to code, although it's a plus if you know how to code, but that doesn't limit you to becoming a DevOps. It's a role that en ensures that you're always on call, whether at midnight or 2 a.m. in the morning. So you need to be able to be that, be that guy when you know, you're given the call or when something goes wrong. And of course, you bring in lots of energy. You don't want to be the sulky guy all over. And so, yeah, it's a very interesting role. Uh, so if you're out there and you think that this is the right, you know, the right thing that you want to do, and I promise you, I mean, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to explore. I mean, we're thinking from, from the whole point, from the entire Google Cloud stack, to Windows Asia, to Amazon Web Services, anything that you can imagine. So I urge you to come and, you know, sign up on Gebeado training, and I'm sure you would regret a thing about, about that. And thank you so much.